Hello food lovers, welcome to Dr. Chef Kitchen and this is Dr. Madhu. When you have no vegetables at your house and you still want to make a delicious curry, here is one such recipe. It's Chana Dal Split Chickpeas Curry and if done the right way, it tastes as good as one of your favorite curries. This is a recipe I learned from my mom and she used to make it while I was young and this is also one of the recipes you don't get to eat at restaurants. So the only place you could try and eat is at your own kitchen. So please try it out. First, let's take two cups of chana dal, split chickpeas and soak it in water for two hours. This is chana dal, split peas after two hours of soaking in water. Let's make the masala for the curry first. We need 15 cloves, 6 green cardamom, half teaspoon of black pepper, 1 teaspoon of cumin seeds, 2 teaspoons of coriander seeds, 3 cinnamon sticks, 1 black cardamom, half teaspoon of fennel seeds, 2 mace and 4 red chilies. Grind these ingredients well. Take 3 to 4 onions depending on the size and grind it into a paste. This is the grinded onion paste. Now take a small size pressure cooker, take two tablespoons of oil and to this add eight curry leaves and four chopped green chilies. After one minute add the grinded onion paste. After cooking in medium flame for 5 minutes, add 2 tablespoons of ginger garlic paste, mix it well and cook it for around 5 to 6 minutes till the raw smell of the ginger garlic paste is gone. After the raw smell of the ginger garlic paste is gone, add 2 teaspoons of red chili powder, half teaspoon of turmeric, three teaspoons of the masala powder we grinded before. If you want it spicy you can add extra teaspoon and salt as needed and mix it well. And now add the chana dal which we soaked in water for two hours. Mix it well. Now add one teaspoon of ghee and mix it well. Cook it for around two minutes. After cooking for two minutes, add half a cup of water and mix it well. Please make sure it's just half a cup and not more than it because we don't want it to become a gravy like liquid. So you want it more like a curry so make sure it's just half a cup of water. After adding water, add some chopped coriander. Mix it and close the pressure cooker lid. Please don't cook it for more than one whistle because we want it more like a curry and not like a liquid paste. I have opened the lid. Wow, it smells great. The curry is done. This curry goes great with rice. And when you have it with ghee, sky is the limit. If you like this video, please like, share and subscribe.
you have no vegetables in your house, you can make this curry with cheddar. My mom makes this with me. Let me try how it is. Wow, it's so good. You should totally try this recipe. Please subscribe to Dr. Chef Kitchen for more yummy videos and follow us on Facebook and Instagram. If you want to watch our garlic curry video, watch it. If you want to watch our corn curry video, watch it. And don't forget to hit the bell icon.